Right, right, sure you are. <laughs> as far as following the line exactly, it's not that big of a deal. Alright. So again, don't touch it. Keep it off like a quarter inch. Uh -huh. and start, it keep it flat. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. it for some reason. Yeah, so that's all that really is. So yeah, you were you were pulling it down. Keep it flat. So keep it just like flat against the meat. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. It doesn't release or something? Like yeah, it doesn't. Huh, let me see. Stop, so it's fine. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're, push, push. you're pushing the knob in. Don't oh, push okay, this okay, knob okay. in. All right. All right. And then when you turn in it, so almost push it down then in your case slightly. Mm -hmm. And then when you start turning it, turn it from the back of the hand. So you, you, you're not turning from the nose, mm -hmm. you turn from the back of the hand. And don't rush to turn, it'll turn pretty quick. Right. Just keep it slow and go. Keep it down. Go. Uh -huh. Go ahead. It, it's, it, when you turn it, it starts pulling up a little bit. Keep it down. Keep it down. It's not too bad. Okay, I see how like you're yanking it out again too yeah. soon. Let it stop in the cut. You gotta become one with the jigsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up like the hand and, and anywhere towards where the cut would be. So yeah. Yeah, you're not naturally gifted at this. <laughs> I can tell. Like you, I can tell you don't got like enough patience right away. Like I'm not saying you won't learn. We practice some more a little bit here with some <laughs> success. So now we're gonna go here. We got like a straight cut, a little like flame shape, and then we'll call this the Matroshka doll shape <laughs> or something close enough to it. So. All right, now I'm gonna show you how it's done. All right. All right, so one of the big things is when you cut in a straight line, do not jerk the, do not wiggle the jigsaw at all. You're just going straight, even if, because the line might not be even perfect, mm -hmm. but you just feel your hand going in straight. Okay. And that's all you want to do. Don't worry about it. Because it will bite you in there. So when I but that, that's a damn good cut. So that's what you want. Yep, you're getting it now. Huh? So just leave it in the end. Mm -hmm. You see, when, when I'm turning, that's when it gets away from me. That's fine. I mean, it's close. The thing is, it's like, see, it's close enough. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't have to be dead perfect. Like, this project here, like, this will not have to be dead perfect. Like, the only lines I'll cut will be these. Mm -hmm. You can cut the rest. It really doesn't matter. tight turn like that, mm -hmm. you can make it no problem. So let, let, let me pull it out real quick. I'll do another one too. Let's see I'm doing. Something like this, right? So watch kind of how I'll go. 
So again, I'm coming in at an angle. Again, I'm being a little lazy here, but the point is that it's close enough. And I would actually, I wouldn't do the whole turn thing. I would walk around and finish from there. Right. But so where you're at now, what you want to do is, when you're going to go in here, you're pulling it back more than you're pushing. Like, and you're basically spinning it in one spot. Imagine like a tank turns. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the idea here. And just, just do it. Worst case, I mean, it's not perfect. The other way to do, there's a different ways to cut that corner. I just want to see if you can. Do it. Alright, so, so I think I, I think one of the main issues is me holding the damn um, the wood, That's yeah, because uh, no I haven't found the... Uh, you get used to it, yeah. So like leave it there. No, mm -hmm. just leave it. And then kind of go like this, and then go from here. How the hell am I gonna do that? Oh. <laughs> okay. Then go go from right here. And just come around kind of from here. Okay. Right So sometimes, what? This tool sucks. <laughs> right, sure, it's the tool. <laughs> okay, I'll just come back this way. You can do that. Yep. All right, so. We're gonna make a copy of like this eye. So for example, we're gonna go in here, go like this, like that, like that, and like that. So for something like this, I'm gonna make a copy right here. So you can say like this. Um, so for some lines like that, where we want like a sharp angle, in this type of plywood, we can just do it and turn on it, that'll be fine. <laughs> Like that turn is sharp enough. Oh, we can pull back. Mm -hmm. If we want this turn to be super sharp, like we want it actually to be this and not the smooth end at all, what we do is we pull it back a bit on the side. And so we cut in the lines we need and then we go back. So now these angles are sharp, but now you run into problem. Like look down. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get it on the camera. So now the problem is that top line is straight, but the bottom line isn't because the the blade flexes, and so we go in back, and so what we need to do is cut it at a slight angle. Let me see. So what I do is I kind of go like this, and I actually like angle the blade out. Let's let's see. So in this case, like I wouldn't even necessarily. Here's how I would, I would cut it. I would cut it straight, mm -hmm. almost to this line, and then I would go in here, back up, and then cut through, and then this whole piece will fall off, and then you can cut through the back. Plus, it just go across. So keep cutting all the way all, until you almost touch that black line. Yeah, maybe a little more. Almost touch the line. Yep, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. And so now you're going to cut through the black line to the very to where the line meets. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. See how you. Yep. No, no, don't pull it out. Okay. You gotta stop yanking that thing out. So, put it back in. Alright. Okay. So, and now what you do is back up from the edge and then start cut, start the blade. Okay. Uh-huh. And then turn it. Okay. And then go all the way. Keep going, keep going. Oh, go all the way. So then, so we can clean up that little thing, and now you can go in from here. You just learn it for now, it's really not a big deal. So that's that a thing too. You learn with the plywood where it can break off and where it can. So <laughs> that look at your face is priceless, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where do you start? So, in this case, I personally start right here mm -hmm. and start going this way. This whole thing is one cut. Yeah. However, realistically, by the time you get here, mm -hmm. cut in through this and then you can cut off. So like. This way, you don't have to restart this curve. And then the same thing here, like finish it and then restart. But I mean, we can square it off. What if I just go through here and cut this off? Cut this piece well, off? Well, here's what I mean. Mm -hmm. So let's say we're making a turn, right? So let's say we're going right here, right? Yeah. And we got this kind of thing coming close to the surface, mm -hmm. and, but we wanted to lose it. So what would we do is you go like this. <coughs> Is that oh. now you have the path already because otherwise the thing is that if you off cut it then mm -hmm. you restart back into the curve but then you might have slight angle deviation okay you know that's if you really want to be OCD about it all right let me deviate this cut here yeah <laughs> all right so and then if you cut into the table it's no big deal yeah, I see you did that a few times already. So yeah, a little bit here and there. All right, like right here. <laughs> Damn. All right, so. So one thing too uh, that's really important before you start the cut. So this curve goes this way, right? Mm -hmm. So if you, at any point you're curving the blade out that way, you're not following the curve anymore. Mm -hmm. Make sense? So that means when you go in, the entire time you only slightly turn in this way. No, you don't jerk the blade out that way. Mm -hmm. Just follow the rough line of this, because this way the line will be smoother. Okay. All right, that's good. All right. Let's do this. Do this. coming up on the table yep so like I would set it up so see how here you're almost on mm -hmm. just go like this this way you can cut all the way through all, you know to here before moving it okay Turn. I thought I'd just go through here. Well, you better connect them properly. Huh? Well, hopefully we'll connect them nice and even.
too bad. Should I just go over a little more? Let me see. Yeah, see that like it's angled mm -hmm. out? So for something like this, like I wouldn't do this <clears throat> when you're first starting off. Because you end up having to air hold this thing and it gets a little dicey. Yeah, yeah just keep going that way. When you're making a sharper turn, mm -hmm. pull it back and then it'll turn on the spot. Don't do that. Why? Because it'll be very hard to follow this perfect line mm -hmm. if you were to come back from here so and you'll be able continue? to see it. Yeah, continue all the way to the top of the helm. Because see, there's like a dent on the top, like it's a little pike. No, like right here, it humps a little bit. Yeah. So picking up here at slightly sharper angle will be easier. But, so go all the way here. But always try to continue these straight, smooth lines all the way to the end, or it'll be much, much harder. It's a little. That's fine. Left side, it looks like what? the L two J's uh, head. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> it's, right. it's not that bad, man. I didn't say it was bad. You didn't say it was good either. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I so, can't. I can't tell from an angle at it. Once we cut the whole thing out, we'll take a look. So continue here. Yeah. Yeah. Do the whole helmet first, and then. Remembering the table that I am. Mm. Just turn with it. Make it a smooth turn. No, no, don't back it up. Just right where you are. Turn go. where? Now we Just tr go through it one smooth piece here. I really need to get a battery one. That stuff gets annoying with some of the projects. I'm surprised you haven't cut the cord yet. I kind of don't want to get electrocuted. Huh? I don't want to get...
good. You want me to finish the rest? Or you want to do it? Just, I'm just starting to get a little concerned about the time. All right, so here you do it. All right, so. on that barbecue. Alright. Right. How long has it been? It's been an hour and 15 minutes. Time to add some more charcoal. Go. Hey buddy. Alright, so if you're watching me at this point, that means you either fast forwarded through the video or you uh, actually watched it. I left the whole thing nice and slow because I wanted to show real speed on real progress when David went from cutting, you know, like a baby deer trying to walk and it was all kinds of janky cuts. And I just didn't want to speed up anything and leave it alone as it sits so that if you're learning, it doesn't take that long. Like the long, the first project I did, my blade was bent like this and the cuts weren't perfect or anything like that. And little by little, it's gotten a lot better through just progress. But in one day he went from not being able to, you know, you saw him pulling the blades out and starting too soon and all of a sudden it actually came out pretty good. Uh, but the helmet is all ready. I finished it up. We ran out of time just because we were doing the Batman logo on the same day. And he was wearing the, I'll show it in the second part, the build video, but he was wearing the actual jacket with the Spartan helmet on it. So that gave me the idea of, hey, why don't we shoot a video of teaching someone how to learn it? Because I wasn't going to give him the Batman piece to cut on the first strike, and that's tricky enough. 
that project came out pretty cool so in the second part of the build I'll just do the normal routine and go through the build video and tease you with some bacon and baby back ribs and stuff like that but thanks for watching this far and if you got any questions or anything like that just holler